so you thought Christmas was over? Well, nerds get a double whammy every year. I'll tell you guys about it. Hashtag news you should know. You're watching Mr. Kingma. Welcome to CES Week, Christmas for the Nerd World. The annual Consumer Electronics Show is happening this week in Las Vegas, and it's one of the biggest events of the year and one of the biggest trade shows. They showcase new electronics, speakers, and lots of parties. Some early standouts from CES 2012 is, first of all, Liquipel is basically an invisible coating that can go around your smartphone and protect it from water damage. Who doesn't need that? And Microsoft has announced Kinect for PC. So starting next month, you can actually control your PC with hand motions and gestures. My take on CES, I love that it's in Las Vegas. It's like the 100,000 attendees and 2,000 exhibitors all get a cool kid pass in Vegas for the whole week, but notably absent from the event is Apple. So let all the other tech freaks fly. Yeah, but not just anyone can go to the trade show. You have to prove your affiliation to the electronics industry or convince them that you're press. In celebrity news, you know Rachel McAdams, right? The girl from Mean Girls and The Notebook and Wedding Crashers and a whole bunch of other movies. Well, she just told Glamour Magazine that she used to work at McDonald's for three years she worked at McDonald's and she said she was a terrible employee and that she broke stuff all the time. She broke the orange juice machine and she had OCD. She would wash her hands all the time and it would back up the drive through line, which I think is really funny. But she said that it was actually a great place to work because yeah, you worked there for three years. But my take, did McDonald's pay her to say that? Is McDonald's really a great place to work? Have any of you guys worked there? Because I don't know about that. And she said that if she wasn't acting, she would probably want to be in restaurant management. All thanks to McDonald's, right? Maybe the worst job I had was working at a retirement home, serving old people food that they didn't want to eat. They were a little mean. Or maybe working at a deli. It was a dirty deli. In app news, there's a new app that will let you prepare your social media will. It's an app called If I Die, and you can basically record messages and videos that will be posted to Facebook when you die. An app requires three people to confirm that you're dead before it will post the messages. Okay, my take on this. It's not inherently a bad idea. I could get on board with this, but the way they're advertising and marketing the app is terrible. They made this video promo showing how the app works and it's this British guy with just not enough sentiment. He's like making a joke about what you can do and say to people for when they die and how people can digitally mourn your death and this video is weird and the whole idea is creepy and just watch this. You're probably thinking to yourself, I don't remember scheduling an appointment with death anytime soon. And you're right, but so is death, right around the corner. So don't wait until it's too late. Leave your message today. It can be a bid farewell, a favorite joke, a long kept secret, an old score you wanted to settle, or even some valuable advice. If I die, what will you leave behind? All right, you guys, I'm going to leave you with a question of the day. What vlogs do you want to see me do in 2012? Give me some ideas down there in the comments. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe. And tonight is the People's Choice Awards. It's at 9 o'clock on CBS, and I'll be there with my roommate. So check it out. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.